Mm. Gotta love that. <clears throat> okay. Mm. I don't even know, like, is this a good shot? Wow, it zooms in as soon as you press record. Hey YouTube, my name is Casey and here's my first video. Just as like a little heads up, if you hear a man talking in the in the background, it's just my husband Austin yelling at my dog because he's trying to attack our cat. So, um, this is my first video, and I just thought it would be a good idea to do a get to know me video. Um, that way, everybody can know a little bit about me and what my goals and visions are for this channel. Um, so, I went out on my social media platforms. I'm not some big famous person, so I literally just asked like friends and family, but I went out on my social media platforms and I asked for them to ask me questions, um, things that they wanted to know about me. So that's what we're gonna get into. So the first question is, what is the channel going to be about? I haven't really like created a box to put all my ideas in. I would like for this to be kind of like a lifestyle channel to where we can cover like a bunch of different topics. I didn't want to create a channel that would have to be strict to just posting videos about one specific topic, but a lot of different things as well as like tips and tricks and things like that. I hope to get good or good enough at editing videos to where I could do like travel vlogs and stuff because I enjoy watching those. Let's see. What countries have you visited? Um, I visited Peru. I think that's like the only other country other than the US. Yeah, Peru. Okay, the third question is, are you competitive? And yeah. 100% it's probably not a good thing all the time a lot of times it can lead to um, bad moods and bitterness but yes I'm very competitive and I think I get it from both my mom and my dad and then Austin probably just creates more of a competitive spirit within me <laughs> my go-to coffee order is a grande iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks. And I had one today. My sister asked me this. Explain your love story with Austin because that never gets old. Maybe we'll do another video on that because it's a very long story, but it's a good one. I do have to admit, I don't even know what number I'm on. What is your dream career? So I'm kind of in the process of doing that, which is super cool. I'm getting the ball rolling. Um, but I would have to say like being able to work in ministry and travel the world and tell people about Jesus all while making sufficient money because ministry doesn't always pay the best, but it pays in different ways than just money. But yeah, doing ministry, traveling the world and worshiping with Austin is by far my biggest goal. What book are you reading right now? A lot. What do you absolutely hate? I hate that. I, I, ugh, I hate hearing people chew their food, chew their gum. Chew with their mouth open. I, I hate it all. Any sound that's gonna come from this area needs to not happen. How many kids do you want? Before we got married, I said five. Now that we're married, I would say like, maybe three and adopt one. Oh, this one was a cool one. What does your tattoo mean? So I have one tattoo so far. And it is real right on my inside of my arm. And it um, is in Hebrew and it means daughter of a king or child of God. And a lot of people were like, well, that's just like pretty general. And I just felt like it was fitting for me because as young women, I feel like it's super important for us to know who we are in Christ and in this world. And I wanted just a simple reminder that I'm a child of God 24 seven. Okay, next question, where did you get married? Austin and I got married in Hamilton, Ohio at a venue called Lake Lindsay. 
and it was beautiful. It was all outdoors. There was a, a huge lake. Um, oh my gosh, it was perfect. Favorite book of the Bible, Psalms, because I'm a worshiper. Next question was, what's something you didn't expect about being married? And honestly, I would say, hmm. I never thought that I would be one of the wives that were like, could spend every waking moment or hour with their significant other. And I have quickly learned that I can spend all day every day with Austin because he's my best friend and it just comes naturally so that's one thing that honestly I didn't expect um I know it sounds kind of bad but like we've got friends who they work together and I always remember thinking I could never do that I could never and now I'm like I want to I love him who is the biggest influence in your life today oh my gosh I have so many Just to list a few would probably be all of the significant women in my life because they have helped me a lot and been there for me and supported me and just spoken life over me time and time again and I truly cherish that. Um, next question, what is the weirdest food you have ever eaten? By far the weirdest thing I've ever eaten was guinea pig. The weirdest thing I've ever eaten was guinea pig when we were in Peru and supposedly this is like some like ritual um, when we let the village know that we were coming months in advance they started fatting up their biggest guinea pig and then they prepared this guinea pig for us at this table with potatoes but the kicker is the potatoes literally looked like they were just pulled from the ground like or however they grow I don't know just like raw potato and guinea pig meat that kind of looked like chicken breast but did definitely did not taste as good but yeah that's definitely the weirdest thing and I guess that kind of leads into the next question which was what made you decide to start this channel and I love YouTube I use YouTube every single day and I love to watch people live their lives and it might sound weird but I just think it's really cool to see how people do life all across the US all around the world um, so I just thought maybe I've got something to offer and who knows if anybody will be interested but I don't know it'll be a new hobby I forgot we had that air freshener in here who are your YouTube inspirations and I'm super excited that I got asked this question because I love YouTube. So anyway, um, number one would have to be, hmm, not in any particular order, but number one, um, the channel is Sarah's Day. I love Sarah. Um, number two would be hmm, Kristen Johns. And number three, for like more of a fitness type deal, along with Sarah, is Whitney Simmons. Um, <laughs> Okay, next question. Why did you name your kitten Mouse? I named our new kitten Mouse because, I don't really want to admit this, but because we had mice in our house, or just one mouse, so it seems, and I just thought it would be funny and ironic to name our cat Mouse. Next question. What is the first thing you notice about someone? Hmm. For women, honestly, this sounds terrible. But the first thing I notice is their nails. And I think that might just be because I work in a place where I'm constantly like handing people things and dealing with my hands. And I just, I don't know. It's like the first thing I look at when I see somebody, a woman. Um, for a man, um, probably if he has good facial hair because I feel like Austin does. And that's something that I enjoy about him. 